Hey adventures! Yikes. Yeah, so as you can tell, I am not exactly the great outdoorsman. Growing up, our family really didn't go out camping that often, like properly camping, like set up a tent and brave the elements for at least a night. So you could say my experience is very limited. I've always wanted to do more camping, especially now that I'm a husky and that the weather is getting so much better. So naturally, we partnered with REI and attended their great TL campout and festival at the Home Depot backyard right here in Atlanta, right by the huge Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I got to learn some basics about camping, like pitching a tent, and I got to check out some awesome gear. And I even tried rappelling and I didn't die. Thank God. But first, before attending the camp out, I had to check out my local REI store and talk to an expert about the basics of getting started. All right guys, we've arrived here at REI. I'm gonna learn a few things about some basics of camping, maybe get some recommendations of some basic camping gear. Let's go. Christian, why am I talking to you about sure. figuring out what I need? Biggest experience I had was hiking the Appalachian Trail a few years ago. I went southbound from Maine all the way down to Georgia. Aside from that, I spent some time out west. So you're, you're definitely the guy to talk to. Yeah. All right. So if I want to just go on a on a hike and a, you know, kind of an overnight, you know, maybe a weekend hike, what are the few maybe items that I need to grab? Uh, the easiest place to start is a pack. Okay. Um, so distinguishing between camping, which is often just out of a car and setting a tent up. Backpacking is whenever we're taking a backpack, carrying everything that we need for overnight. We need a shelter. shelter. We need a sleep system, which is usually a sleeping bag and a sleeping pad. Let's start with a pack then. Great. So you selected three for us. These highlight the probably three major brands that we carry in store. This is the Gregory Paragon here. This is the REI Flash 55 and the Atmos, excuse me, the Osprey Atmos 50. The most essential thing about choosing your pack is how it feels on your body. Got it. And how it carries that load because often we're gonna be carrying loads of up to 30 pounds. I often like to have customers try on at least two packs. The trying on at least two can really show you uh, what I was getting at before that um, you never know what it's gonna feel like until it's on you and that that's the most important thing. Christian is gonna help me figure out what size fits best. This is our fit, fit jig. jig. Yeah, so this goes around you just like a pack and it helps us figure out the size of the packs. So we talked okay. about capacity, which is in liters, but now we're looking to see if you're small, medium, large, totally based on the length of your torso. torso. Got it. I like the Gregory. Great. I think the feel of the Gregory, the flexibility of you know being able to adjust it. I think I think we're gonna go with this guy. Great. Cool, Sounds we found good. our pack, guys. Alright, so we figured out our pack. I'm going with the Gregory. Now we gotta go to the shelter, That's which right. is next, which which is where we are. Very often single hikers will carry a two-person tent, pairs will carry a three-person tent. That gives more room if you can just imagine me laying down right here that's literally all the <laughs> space you have yeah probably going to be my wife and i so let's look at a three-person tent that maybe one or two options that you yeah. think would be great these two tents right here this is the marmot limelight three person and this tiny one here is also a three-person tent this oh, is the wow. big agnes tiger wall over a two pound difference weight wise between these and just looking at them you can see a pretty massive size difference. Yeah, looking at the two, I really like the yellow color, honestly, and also the size of the Tiger yeah. Wall. Josh said he preferred because of the yellow color mostly. <laughs> um, so tents these days are super easy to set up and we like to highlight that by uh, doing what we often do for customers during the week is um, setting it up right here so they have the opportunity to actually see what it's gonna look like when it's on the trail. That's all Super it took. Livable. You're, that was done. You're done. This is it. Oh. The very last step. This is it for the time. That was like three minutes. Yes. <laughs> the very last step is always to throw your rain fly sure. over the top. Unless you're absolutely certain that it's not going to rain and uh, you're willing to take the risk and sleep under the stars, having your rain fly over top ensures that you're not going to have any unexpected uh, misery in the middle of the night. All right, we're going with Big Agnes and we're going to check out what's last. The sleeping sleep system. Sleep system. Yep, that's the last of the big three. Looking at these two, uh, what really affects the pricing? Is it the down? Is it the shape? Is it? 
typically the fill is the main driver of the price. So again, synthetic versus down. Synthetic is going to be the affordable option. Premium down bags like the Magma here can go well over 300. This one sits at 350. I think I'm going to go with the Nemo. Um, I like the features that it has. You're sharing with me about the gills, the thermo gills. You take the down, I'll take the synthetic. That sounds and great. Yeah, we're, we're going to go camping. <laughs> Got my pack. Got my sleeping. I got my tent, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna pick up one of these chairs and a couple other luxury items like the AeroPress. I'm not gonna break anything. Right. All right, we're making our way to 111. Yes, sweet. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, we're exploring the space a little bit. They got a stage way over there. They're gonna have a movie night coming up. Got a DJ. Some more is going on over here. You can learn to build your own fire, which I need to learn how to. Do you know how to build a fire? Yeah. All right, kids, we're gonna make a s'more. <laughs> Burnt stuff. Oh yeah, that's good. Getting that close up. Woo! That is good. And then I whip. Make sure it's not too hot. <laughs> What have we got our beer tokens here at the Terrapin Beer Garden? Are you gonna get something? Yeah. Let's go. Let's figure out what we want. Cheers. Got our beers lounging in this hammock. You wanna join me on this hammock? Okay. Uh, ah, ah, Christian recommended, ready to turn in for the night. <sighs> Good night. It's festival day. This is where all the fun stuff is gonna happen. There's a bunch of vendors here. Um, there's a bunch of tents set up to learn how to like, do. there's a repelling wall over there, which I really wanna do. There's this bouncy house. I'm really excited. We're gonna check out some stuff here and hopefully learn some stuff about camping and hiking that I didn't know before. The cool thing is that here they're doing a bunch of presentations all day right now. They're doing a camping 101. So she's teaching us how to make a tent set up. If it is cold, rainy, uh, windy, whatever, or if it's really nice out, you can roll them back. It comes with a little toggle. You can roll back, get a little fresh air moving throughout the night. All right, guys, I'm at, on the top of this thing. We're gonna try the repelling wall. We're gonna get harnessed up, and hopefully I don't die today. All right, I think I'm ready. A kid already backed out in front of me, so I, I can't back out now. Let's see how this goes. One of the cool things about being an REI member is that they have a really amazing used gear and trade-in program. And we have our friend here. What's your name? Anastasia. Anastasia, and she's gonna share a little bit about what that looks like. Things that have been gently used that we don't wanna see end up in a landfill, it's great to get it back into the cycle and make sure that um, our members have access to buy that gear back up. It's a great way if you're kind of new to camping or any other outdoor activity and you really just want to 
kind of come in as a, as a newbie and not invest a whole lot of money, it's a great way to get um, something at a great deal. Um, yeah, so our members have a chance to trade in their old gear. We give them back a, an e-gift card right there on the spot. Um, and then their gear goes back into the cycle and somebody else gets to buy it up. So it's pretty sweet. Cool, thank you, Anastasia. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Come trade your gear in. I've always wanted to try biking on little rampy things and I'm gonna see if I can do it. This looks really neat. Pretty tough. How'd I look? Stupid. Dang, I always look stupid on these things. Wow, so I've learned a lot. I've got my gear and I'm ready for my weekend camping trip. But what does your trip look like? What I've really discovered is that there are so many different levels and depending on what you want to do, there is gear that you can get and skills that you can learn depending on what you need. For example, for someone like me who's just going on a weekend camping trip, I'm gonna need something totally different from somebody that's gonna be spending a month hiking the Appalachian Trail. A great way to start is to visit your local REI store and talk to an expert. I was able to ask a bunch of questions and just by telling the expert what I wanted to do, he was able to give me a lot of extra tips that I didn't even know I needed. Then just get out there, whether it's just for a day or a whole month. Thanks guys, I'm really excited to see what you guys are gonna be doing. Comment below where you're gonna be camping out next, whether you're super experienced and whether you have some tips for me. Thanks to REI for sponsoring this video and I look forward to seeing you guys on another adventure.